okay, last, uh, last lesson we learned about masking. And now I'm going to introduce adjustment layers, which have uh, masks automatically attached to them. So let's go ahead and click on this picture. We'll start with this picture right here. Uh, now, uh, one way of changing, uh, let's, let's turn this black and white. Okay, one way to turn this black and white would be to go to, to enhance, adjust color, and then um, we can remove color, all right? But with non-destructive editing, we don't want to make any destructive edits to our background layer. So this, this isn't in line with non-destructive editing, and it, it really uh, narrows our, our, our flexibility to what we can do in the future, especially if we want to add color to it or restore its original color. So I'm going to undo that and show you another alternative to changing it to black and white, a non-destructive uh, alternative. So if I click right down, let's see, right down here, which is uh, create new fill or adjustment layer, if I click on this, you can see there's a variety of different options. And I think it's worth, you know, uh, worth some time once we're done with this lesson to experiment and play with these different, all these different adjustment layers because they have some pretty cool effects. But today we're going to learn about brightness and contrast and hue and, s hue and saturation. So if I click on hue and saturation, let me open this up so that you can see my, my layer palette still, um, still open. You can see that what when I went to the adjustment layer and created hue and saturation, it, it added this to my layer palette. Now, and here's the here's the layer and there's some there's some sliders that I can adjust if I want to turn this to black and white I can just sh shift the saturation all the way to the left and then now it's black and white so go ahead and shift it all the way to the left and make it black and white now you can double click on this layer up here and label it black and white to stay organized okay now take a look at what this does this this adds a mask automatically. So if we wanted to, once it's black and white, once it's black and white, if we wanted to, we can click on this mask. And like we learned last time, if you go to the paintbrush or the paint bucket and use black, you can color in, you can burn through. I'm going to switch back to 100. Uh, oops, sorry. I'm going to make this a little bit bigger and switch back to the opacity at 100. And you can, you can change, you know, if you want to blend it, you don't have to have it at 100. But my point is that each adjustment layer comes with, um, or most of the adjustment layers come with a mask attached to it. So you can mask out part of that layer that you don't want. Now, you, you know, a lot of the times you, don't even need, you wouldn't even use the mask, but it's nice to have that option there. So why don't you mask out, and I know I'm doing this quickly, why don't you mask out uh some of the sky to make the sky color in color again you might need to zoom in to get the branches but don't don't spend a ton of time um uh, but I, I just want you guys getting used to to masking out uh the adjustment layer mask so that's pretty cool so now it's black and white and the sky is is, is blue um what we can also do is we can also turn this uh, to sepia tone, which we're going to do actually in the in the next uh, in the next photo. We're going to we're going to turn that to a sepia tone. But for now, let's do black and white and mask through this. And what we're going to do is we're also going to add some contrast to this. This this is a little bit flat, and I want to show you the uh, brightness and contrast adjustment layer. So once you're done with this. Let's go back to your adjustment layer and let's go to brightness and contrast. It gives us another adjustment layer and we can look down here to see what sliders we have as, as options. And this is a basic uh, ed photo editing um, tool right here. A lot of the times if it's under overexposed, you want to adjust the brightness and contrast. So you can kind of move the slider to the left and to the right and you can kind of see the effects that it has. So maybe darken it up just a little bit and maybe add a little bit of contrast to it okay and really make that 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 picture pop and if you wanted to you can burn through this layer as well right 
So we've created two adjustment layers and we've burned through the mask on this one. Now, if you decide to go back at a, a, a later date and time and say, you know what, I wish I didn't turn this black and white, you can always turn the eye off, right? And that gives you the flexibility. Uh, what you can also do is you can always click back right here. If you double click on this icon right here, it opens up your hue and saturation box and you can always adjust and let's say you, you, want it, you didn't want it black and white but you wanted to take out some of the color you can always adjust it or y you can go back and adjust the hue to make it you know a, a really super kind of wild uh, toned uh, picture right but the point is, is that you can always go back to a, an adjustment layer and adjust the settings that you initially set so I'm going to move this back to uh, move this back to zero t or to minus 100 to make it black and white. You can also change the lightness too, but we already did that with the, the brightness and contrast uh, adjustment layer. So that's that's that. Let's go ahead and switch to this file right here. Um, and what I'm going to show you guys how to do is uh, create a sepia tone photograph, which is kind of like the old timey photograph, uh, orangish and brown brownish tint to it. Uh, real easy. Let's go and go to our adjustment layer and I want you to go to hue and saturation and I want you to click colorize and when you click colorize you can shift this hue, hue slider over and shift it over to the orange and orangish tint. Now CP is pretty subjective so some people like them more gold and orange and some people like it uh, a little bit more brown so shift it over somewhere in the y orange uh, goldish range. And once you've selected that, let's go ahead and add some contrast to this to make this pop. So click on another adjustment layer, brightness and contrast, and you can increase the um, contrast and you can lower the brightness a little bit as well, right? Something like that. Now, if if you low if you bright let's say let's say you you lower the brightness so it's pretty dark and you're like well you know what this section is is a little dark now I like the way this the clouds and the sky appear but this is a little dark now what you can do is you can click on this brightness and contrast mask and simply mask out this so that you, you so that you lighten up the the water so let's go ahead and do this let's go ahead and click on your lower the brightness of this mask or of this uh, adjustment layer and then click on the mask and make sure you're on black and look at what you can do let's let's go ahead and make this a little bit bigger and let's say maybe 300 or so roughly around 300 and let's just change the opa opacity of the brush to about 70 or 72 and you can see that you can lighten this up as well and there's a, it's easier when you have a definitive line where the you know like we have with the water and the and the water in the mountains but you can lighten it up so now that the the water is lightened and the cloud is dark the clouds in the sky is dark and if you want to lighten up some of this as well you can just let's say lower the opacity a little bit lower the size and then just kind of blend that in so it's not too dramatic right something like that so now you can kind of see the difference if I disable this mask it's like oh well the, the water's a little dark we'll mask that out and now you have something like this and you have a more dramatic uh, scene okay so those are adjustment layers. When you're done with this, I, I want to encourage you to practice to see what uh, these different adjustment layers do as well. All right.